Hey Legionnaires, welcome back. We're here with another NTW3 battle for you today, and today we are at Borodino as France is coming to conquer Russia and in its way on its road to Moscow there is a brave Russian force deeply entrenched around a great redoubt here at Borodino and the French have the task of removing them from that redoubt. The man that is leading the way first it seems is going to be Eugene here and his core is going straight head on towards this redoubt and will France be able to remove the Russians or will they die trying? Let's find out. But yes, we have a glorious NTW3 battle for today. It is with cores, I presume with historical cores as well. It does seem as though we have Eugene, we have Ney, I've seen we have Udenor, and we also have the uh, Imperial Guard as well here. Without any Grognards though, which is a... Uh, that's got to be a minus in the scoreboard for the French day. Grognards should be here really at one of Napoleon's finest days. I mean, though they didn't really uh, take part in the actual battle. I think like maybe the young guard, I think Elmer's the young and middle guard did, but nothing more than that. But yes, the Russians here are already deeply entrenched around uh, Borodino and around the uh, redoubt over here. Looks like um, Ney is not really going to have to fight for the actual town of Borodino. He already occupies it, uh, which is like this, this building here. Uh, but yeah, it looks as though they're going to be going straight and maybe flanking around the side of the uh, redoubt, which is not probably not a bad idea either. The Russians don't look like they're quite set up. Looks like the French have uh, sort of caught them on the march. See the Russian infantry here still trying to form up. I mean, there's not like the French are really set ready either. I mean, they have a lot of uh, the troops still on their way. You can see here, Udenoy is on his way with his Swiss and his, uh, looks like Croatian troops there as well. He, he, Napoleon really truly did bring just about every part of Europe to Russia to come and invade. And yeah, the uh, Imperial Guard on the way. A lot of Voltigares, a lot of like Young Guard and Trilliers, Voltigares and Trilliers. There are some Old Guard, uh, Chasseurs of the Guard, but that is about it really. They do look damn fine still, all the same. Got Chevalier Lancers here as well, the uh, Old Guard, and we have some Cuirassiers as well from uh, Udenos all the way out there. But yeah, looks like both sides are just a sort of like, you know, testing the wards, seeing who's uh, stronger in certain areas. Oh, gosh, that's a pretty nasty shot there onto the Italian line infantry of Eugene's. Most of them sh should get up, but uh, yeah, quite a few staying down as well. There's also like a little uh, cav sort of matchup going on out there, Chasseurs. And then there's like a little Cossack unit. I think both sides thinking, can I just get a cab unit and flank it in behind and go and get some generals or artillery or something like that. It looks like the uh, the French and the Russians both have the same idea. Uh, lots of yeah Russian generals still back here, which suggests their armies are also relatively uh, still in that area as well. Looks like the uh, the French went in with a little Chevalier, managed to rout. It uh, looks like a, um, a Stolzi or something like that. It looks like now we're going to see a response here from the Russians. Going with, looks like a Lancer here. Maybe going to go in for a, a charge onto the Trilliers here. It looks like the uh, Udenor's Chasseurs is going to come up and respond to that. But it might be a little late for the uh, Trilliers. There you go. Charge onto them. Just look at the uh, Chasseurs are sure interested in that. They're going to go after looks like Russian infantry. They're not interested in dealing with this, this little Ulan, maybe. Well, they're going to go for the guns, more likely. Yep. That looks like that might be the case. And there you go, shaken, wavering. They might break on impact here, but they did get to the gun just about. And there you go, the limbers will run off and the guns will be not abandoned, but they can't move from here now. Not that I don't think they plan to. I mean, this is the Great Redoubt. You can't, it doesn't look that great. It is uh, the main focal point of Borodino. And yeah, I don't think they're going to be moving from here with the guns anyway. They were going to die here at this point. But now it allows the French infantry to come forward. Because it's not going to get hammered by artillery for a little while while the uh, gun crew reassembles. Also, Ney is starting to arrive now. He's facing a wall of fre uh, Russian fire here. Lots of Yager set up, lots of light infantry. There is a mine, which is what this red mark here is, so uh, that's going to rely on a French player to set that off. Uh, so that might also halt the sort of like the French advance. I think they kind of put it there because the stakes kind of uh, shifted out. So there's a gap that Cav could have otherwise got through and got to the ground battery, I guess. Russia has also just done a bayonet charge here. It's a bold move there. It looks like a grenadier unit or something like that. It looks like with the red band on around their like the hats. Suggest it doesn't look like they're going to do. Too well out of that one, they might win it. Oh no, there you go, Russia did in fact lose that one. The artillery as well, looks like it might be firing into canister at this point. 
Line infantry here, reassembling. Preparing for another assault from the Russians. I already read an orange lining here, that's not a good sign. There you go, yeah. Line infantry here setting up. Cool drilling with Russia, yeah, it's building up a lot of uh, reserves around this area. It looks like the whole fight's just gonna be around the redoubt. And here we go, it looks like Dragoons as well setting setting up coming forward. Yeah, some troops already breaking for Ney here. But of course we sent forward a little Lancer here. This also failed to get forward. And that might be why the Dragoons are coming forward, in fact. It looks like they're obviously the main target for the French today is going to be to try and take out these guns on this uh, position here. Whether the Russians brought many more guns than that, I don't know, but... There you go. Wow, look at that. That unit was absolutely annihilated there. The gun at the last minute there, firing canister, absolutely wiping out the chasseur, and that has got no chance of coming back. That is, that is rough to see. That is rough to see. And yeah, it looks like Eugene's going to carry on the fight here, but yeah, Ney is not liking his, his odds here by the looks of it, and he's going to fall back. Don't blame him, there is a wall of fire here. There are actually more artillery pieces over here on the flanks, so the Russians did bring more. I did wonder if they were going to bother, um, because obviously they've got like, that's just a primer on the on the redoubt. It's like, do you bother bringing more? You can bring some howitzers, which uh, obviously they are. You can see the uh, howitzer rounds going off. So they're back there somewhere. The Russians are obviously famously known for their howitzers. Uh, I feel like they're, they're always being brought. There we go, and the charge from the cavalry here looks like Ulan going to go in for the, uh, the Udinos, like uh, Swiss skirmishes here, and he's going to get charged by some German cavalry. This might be uh, Eugene's, in fact, yeah. Chevaliers. They didn't really achieve much. And that's, if anything, not a bad. It's always a good trade, I feel like, for, uh, for a player. If you, like, you know, you don't lose your Voltigares, but you take it out a cav unit, a tiny little cav unit like that, it's still a win. At the end of the day, big build of a cab on this flank here. You can see cuirassiers, the guard, lancers as well. They're all getting ready for some sort of attack. But yes, if you're enjoying NTW3 and would like to see some more uh, on the channel, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. And uh, you'll, and if you want to get involved in any sort of like NTW3 action as well, feel free to join. My Discord link is down below in the description. As always, you're more than welcome to come and stop by and join in in some Napoleonic action, even if you are... A newbie or a veteran, all are welcome. There you go, two glorious volley. The Frenchies and the Russians gonna keep on dueling. I feel like neither side is like too too good in this sort of scenario, but we'll see. I'm be I feel like both France and Russia kind of benefit from uh, line fights, really. We'll see what they do. France shifting wide here. And it looks like France as well. I've really should. I mean, I thought the main interest was around the redoubt, but I guess they just don't want the cab over there. They certainly the guard cab. I guess they can win probably a one-on-one -on -one fight. Russia hopefully has got some sort of cuirassier or something like that. Another cab attempt. Looks like they actually set off the mine of all things as well. The Chevrolet girl lands there. I guess maybe that was for some sort of assault uh, later on from the infantry. I don't know. That might be yeah planning for something. Uh, looks like the uh, the French are oh, well. Ney's coming back forward again. There you go, they're going to retreat now. Pull back. What's coming forward here? We've got Imperial Guard Chasseurs actually now at the front line, chipping away. I'm waiting for the guard to come forward, to be honest, at some point. When they eventually do, it'll be a sight to be seen. There's a lot of actually sure like Cro even Eugene has Croatian troops here. A lot of Croat troops, weirdly. That is That's interesting. But yeah, look at this big push here from the Imperial Guard going wide. They're just going around the, the redoubt. It seems that's their plan. I actually see that there's a lot of Russians here being tied down by a very small portion of Ney's army. 
is, yeah, I don't know uh, if they realize how much is out there or how little is out there, but yeah. That is, yeah, actually, yeah, the main thrust from France is going to come in this direction here, and they're going to, uh, going around, we've got Udenor as well joining in with the Swiss infantry, it looks like. And they're going to just start to swing in, and it looks like certainly some of the Russian troops are starting to buckle here, redlining a little bit. Certainly these Voltigeurs and Trilliers, they'll prefer to stay in a line fight than get in a melee. I mean, they're not too shabby in a melee fight, but they definitely prefer to stay in a line fight. They've got pretty, they're pretty decent shooters. The Curass over here, though, that'll do a lot of serious damage, that is for sure. The way to see whether the... It's clear there's guns out here that are trading down these uh, Chevalier Lancers because the uh, players are treating them... Uh, back to the tree line because he's getting shot at. Wants to keep his precious guard alive. There's also another mine on this road here. So evidently the Russians are set up here uh, in some form or another to protect against a, uh, a French thrust down this road. It's not very good to see that they are prepared for that. And more Frenchies breaking. Certainly don't think I've seen any... Apart from that one grenadier that charged out at the beginning, I don't think I've seen any... Or like uh, French infantry units. Uh, sorry, any Russian infantry units break yet? A big, big Legay unit coming forward here. 134 man unit. Jeez, look at the holes being put in by this artillery. That grand battery needs to be removed. It really does. There's actually houses as well. Houses from the French as well. Okay, both sides here dueling. Um, whereas there's, yeah, the obvious here, they're, they're going to see little Chevalier Lancer come forward again. I think they're going to try, what, will this be like number three or number four in the attempts of assaulting that position? Yeah, France, I don't know what they were trying to do with some infantry here, but they failed with whatever plan this was. Looks like more of their troops here might break as well. But here you go, the Imperial Guard is coming forward. They haven't got a lot of infantry in front of them. Quite a lot of guns in front of them and cav. And there is actually more infantry, I think, moving in this direction. Coming down the road, maybe they realize they're out of position in the wrong spot. They are moving up. I don't know if. They'll look at their cav quickly. I haven't seen any sort of like anything too heavy. Probably these ones back here are the. I know they're all dragoons. They are all dragoons. Yes, yeah, there's nothing like. I mean. A couple of dragoons could definitely deal, uh, do the damage to the uh, to the cav units so over here, but certainly uh, not as heavy. They're certainly not as heavy. I mean, they might be able to duel with the uh, Shavagir lancers. I don't know. Certainly, if the uh, lancers don't get a great charge off. I would have thought if I was the French player, I'd want to try and get as close as possible. Well, not too close, but you want to like try and maybe. Uh, help because I think the guns were certainly were anyway training training on the uh, the cab over here. If you get if you get close enough and uh, focus down the uh, the artillery with your with your muskets, you might be able to do something. I don't know. Oh, it looks like more Russians. Did they charge out? I think these guys did. I don't know why Russia's trying just like one unit at a time to charge out. And there they go. A general's been killed. So that tiny little chasseur has actually managed to get back there. And has uh, actually managed to take out a general. Okay, I did not see that coming. That is huge. General being killed there for the Russians. That's one gone. Um, it also looks like the gun battery, I think, is going to get taken out. I think, yeah, the gun's been routed. Got in French infantry, or actually Italian infantry to be precise. They've managed to storm the redoubt. Looks like they are going to get pushed back themselves, uh, the French. Which is no surprise, the Russians are, I think, are just better than the Italians in line in a, uh, in a melee fight. It's no surprise there. But a general being killed off, and also the redoubt being... Well, I don't know actually if it has. No, the artillery crew still alive, so I don't know what route for the Russians. Maybe just another infantry unit. So I thought maybe the redoubt would be cleared out, but it hasn't. Okay, so a general being killed is huge, though. But the redoubt is still very much alive. French, uh, sorry, Russian cab here has been routed as well. Little Hussar unit there, being forced back. Looks like the uh, Swiss squares did their job. And then it looks like we're going to see French cab maybe 
Uh, the, you can see this uh, Chevrolet Gear here. We do not that's going to get ready into position. That's going to go in for an attempt to onto the uh, guns here. First, they have to take out this Russian infantry. This Polish Lance is trying to do their best. Well, actually, they're not. They're just normal Lances, but they could be Poles. They're dressed the same, basically. Now we're going to see Italian Laguerre come forward here. Don't know how good they're going to do in melee, but we'll see. There's like more Streltsy getting uh, broken there. The Russians are sending down even more infantry. Uh, this cavalry is getting a bit intermingled in the infantry and making a bit of a mess of their own assault. Looks like France has just about done enough. Looks like the guns are not dead again still. They're still just to keep evacuating the crew. As soon as they get close to the French to like this area, they just pull back the crew. It's a smart idea by the Russians. And just every time I see it, I keep thinking, oh, the guns are gone. They've finally been dealt with, but no, they haven't. Here we go, counter charge here from the Dragoons. The Gare can't form square. I don't know what they were going for. Uh, the Sappers behind, 88-man oh, unit of Sappers. That's a big old unit. They can form square as well. They didn't. I don't know what they're doing. They're splitting in half and going around the Laguerre. That's an interesting formation they chose. Oh, no, they're going to a, a short line. I think they're going to put out stakes or something. That's not a bad idea, actually. And look at this. Perfect timing with all these uh, Dragoons coming in. They're actually generally putting down spikes, that's hilarious. I don't think they can. I think these sappers should have formed square, it might have been safer. And I think the sap no, the sappers are still in there. The light infantry. It's starting to break though, the Italian light infantry. We're now seeing Carabineers, the uh, Royal Guard and Swiss Grenadiers coming forward here. Even some French Grenadiers being sent forward. And it's looking a little messy now. Like the core's getting a little bit intermingled and who like everyone's just stomping on top of each other. Russia trying to force back the French from the redoubt in any way possible. And it looks like we're gonna see uh, all frame, well, yeah, the gear breaking still. Some uh, Russian stuff starting to break, like infantry. Starting to unnerve them. I think the saps have just broken as well. But what a waste, those guys. Still 50 from left. The greatness they could have done. There you go, more Russian infantry broken, and that Russian assault's kind of been stopped in the tracks. That Chevrolet Gear Lance is back from Udenor. I don't know what they're going after. Don't know if the, I think the crew is still back somewhere. Just as important right now as that gun crew, like any other. So like, like it's nearly as important as the general, really. Um, the guard actually retreated. Um, just to look at some other aspects of the battle, the guard retreated. Uh, I guess because they're probably just standing for the guns and just getting pounded. Uh, but it looks like they might be coming forward once again. Uh, with the advance of the uh, Frenchies in, in the centre here. Looks like we're going to see a charge here by the uh, Dragoons into the French. Well, I guess it's like right of centre. They can't form square, these guys. So they are vulnerable, but they are going to get countercharged now by Italian Dragoons. Some of the finest cavalrymen in the French army. At least I think so. So the guard one is excellent really is oh is that what i think it is that is a cuirassia that is the men of fatigue that is that's a very that's they're gonna need that they're going to need that i mean we've got a guard yeah here you go the guard from guard goons from italy more charging here from the french sending in those uh we've got the uh, column of assault column here 251 men in sentence melee it's a pretty good unit
There you go. Looks like the assault column is still alive. We're broke then, look at so Yeah, the assault column is still alive. That's breaking through. Got a lot of French uh, cav here. Looks like the curiosities are shaken steady. I haven't quite decided what they are. Uh, they are dueling up, sort of dueling with the Russian one, sort of. But the, uh, the French ones aren't really looking the right there. There they go. They sort themselves out. And we also have, looks like the, uh, the guard uh, cavalry from the French uh, from Italy here. That's also just broken. It looks like the French also trying to fire into the flanks of the Russians, and they have succeeded in breaking that Russian cab. Very, very nice. And it looks like the French, ever so slowly, inch by inch, are getting onto the uh, high ground here, onto the Redoubt, doing their bit. And let's say he's kind of an ears of the uh, Royal Guard here, now up, so they're getting some solid units into this uh, Redoubt. It's going to be hard to kick him out with melee. The assault column still here. It's very tired, though. It still has over 200 men in this unit, though. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Here you go. Military Cadabineers, they're up on here. They can just put, they might need to form a square almost immediately. Yep, cavalry coming forward. Give them a volley, boys. Give them hell. Some Italian steel. I don't know, some Italian lead, maybe? Actually, I think forming square fired into the flank of the Russians and help their um, other Cadabineers, like our here. And now we can see, it looks like the rest of Ney's uh, force over here is still coming forward. Whether Ney can make an offensive here now, maybe you can think about it. I don't know. Uh, I, I would have thought a lot of Russians would have shifted down to the uh, to the center now, with the issues kind of piling up there. But it's certainly not looking good. There you go. The assault column has broken. At 178 men. It is gone. Still some. Uh, well, actually, I say there's some decent units back here. I, I'm struggling to see any. They've got a Dutch. There's Hollandaise, another Curacia there. The Italian Dragoon's still alive. Yeah, they haven't got much. I wouldn't say that's like excellent back here. They might want to start thinking about sending forward some of these things forward. Sappers again, send them forward. Russia seems like it has an endless supply of infantry. I mean, some of this I'm sure has returned. The Cavs also having issues here. The Cav fight actually in the back lines here. Here we go. The old guard. Cavalry coming in. The Red Lancers. They'd be beaten by Dragoons. I did say they were beatable. And there you go. All the uh, Lancers have been routed. I don't know what their attempt was, what they were trying to do. They were very much cut off. I got in behind there, and yeah, I mean, the cuirass as well, the uh, Le Panache, they've also broken. But yeah, they tried to swing in behind. They, in fact, fail with that plan there. The Russian Cav, just far too numerous, and they just kind of pinned one unit down, and then charged with another, it seemed, in the end. But yeah, there you go. Bit of a victory for those boys there. Our men are running, sir. Whether they could get these howitzers, the French, I don't know. That'll be an objective to try and take out. I mean, they just need to try and take out guns. Try and, uh, I don't know push back the, uh, the Russians. We're going to actually see uh, some artillery moving up here. Some six pounders, they're going up. Look at the bodies around this. I mean, like, the Italians here, they're using the Redoubt for cover. Look at all the bodies around this Redoubt. It's insane. Kind of same here. Ney trying to use the, uh, the like, the lip of the hill to try to get some cover for his troops, but I think he's also probably not getting great shots himself. Yeah, it's certainly a both sides very bruised, very bad now. The French cavalry retreating here, Italian Dragoons getting out of there. I feel like these Italian Guardsmen could be pretty crucial now to sort of like the French goals of holding on to the doubt. If they break, it's, there's not a lot of hope, I don't feel. I feel like everything that's left is kind of pretty average stuff. And there you go. We're going to have another French charge here. Some cuirasses coming in. The, the Dutch Les Hollandais uh, cab going in, trying to charge these, uh, these infantry units here. And there you go, the grass is broken again. The 
Russia. I mean, there you go, actually, yeah, Ney has tried an assault on this flank here. It's not like it's going to work at all. I mean, I think they still have R3 here supporting. And I just don't think it's enough support. There's no cavalry here. Yeah, there's R3 just, like, point by range, I think, right now, pounding the French. There's just no support. There's no cav. It's just like they've got one lone artillery piece back there, and eight pounder trying to do its best. It's not going to do a lot. Looking for the French, I mean, they still have the, uh, the Imperial Guard, but... Uh... That's kind of now being shifted towards the center, it seems. As you can see here, lots of chasseurs going in this direction, Chiliers as well. I just feel like Russia has more. I just feel like Russia has more. I might be wrong. It might be similarly matched. But it just seems that that's the case. They actually gone for. A I didn't even realize this. That French unit's gone deep. Here. It's an Imperial Guard unit as well. How did this get so far? It's just run past Russian infantry units here. How did they let this happen? Yeah, that unit's just a bolt again. Kind of got wasted. Like I said, I don't feel like these guys operate so well in melee. They, they prefer to uh, shoot at you. We're going to see a cab charge here. Now we're going to see some support. And they're going to take out these guns. that are pestering Nay's little flank over here. Uh, we've got the Russian dragoons coming in trying to sweep them away. Yeah, these Chevrolet Gers of Eugene's, they're going to be lost, but they are going to take out a, uh, a Russian gun with them by the looks of it. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, okay. I did think for a moment, maybe these Chevrolet Gers are going to hold. They just, like, I thought, they've got to die, surely. I just they didn't. They managed to take out these guns in the general. It's been incredible. Yeah, another cav unit there lost for the French. They're kind of quickly running out of generals, uh, out of cavalry. And the Russians are losing generals. They've just lost another one there to an artillery shot. That is unfortunate. I don't know if that was purposeful or what. It was just an unlucky rogue shot. But yeah, Russia's lost two generals now. And that is... That could be a serious problem for morale. There you go. Sappers came forward. They've redeemed themselves. Routing a friend, uh, a Russian infantry unit. And now we're going to see a charge across the line here. I wonder whether... These units are all under the command of that general that just got killed off. It could be possible over here. Grenadier unit you know, that's just being wasted away. It's been shot on the flank here. Needs to do something. Needs to get in there. Charge it in there. Kill something. A general here is being charged as well. This is not good stuff. And there you go. The Russians lost another general. I don't think this one's died yet though. But another general routed. And there you go. Another one dead. That's three generals gone, and all of a sudden, just like that, Russia is, like, on the back foot now, I'd say. I think literally about two minutes ago, I thought Russia looked good. They may have lost their doubt, yeah, but they... Yeah, I felt like they had more troops, they had more cavalry, it felt like, still. I don't even think the... Well, the French have, looks like, one Italian Dragoon left. We can at least see one Russian cav unit out here. I'm sure they have a few more dotted about. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, there's literally another one there. A little Our Cossack. Are running, sir. There are also so many... What are these? Just guns back here that could just be taken out. I was thinking these are going to be guns or generals. But yeah, that little Cossack could just go in and just mop all them up. Yeah, more cab out here. But yeah, Russia had so much cab left. This is the same one. No, it's two different ones. I feel like Russia was in a great spot. Now they've just lost a couple of generals in just quick succession. It's all looking a little messy now. If anything, it probably makes the battle a little bit, a little bit more even. Yeah, Nay's assault on the side over here. This has just been destroyed. Another little cab unit here. A tiny little dragoon unit there that's helped succeed in destroying this flank here. Our men are running, sir. Line infantry here just shooting and tooting. I wonder if these houses can use canister. Look at the size of the gun. Obscenely large. Didn't hear the shot go off, but that's okay. We can live with that. So we're going to see some more artillery limbering up here or unlimbering. Getting ready. 
French are moving forward. The Imperial Guard leading the way, really, as you want them to now at the stage of the battle. Uh, don't know where more these guys are breaking. Oh, over here. And they again are attempting some sort of assault on this flank here and really. And sort of like winning, uh, like failing to a, a win over here. There you go, looks like more Dragoons here breaking. There you go. It looks like they're now finally mopping up these guys. The Russians are just thinking out of morale. Even the Imperial Guard here. Even though these guys are, like I said, I think they're better shooters, but they do okay. Looks like now we're going to see the guns come forward. This is brutal. This is almost like, you know, like in Waterloo at the end of the Waterloo film. You just see, like, guns getting wheeled forward. For, like, point blank range to gun down the Imperial Guard. This is what it feels like a little bit for the Russians. They are wheeling these forward just to mow down these poor Russians. Yeah, the old, the old guards are here. They're not old guards. The young guards going in, charging these guys in the flank, doing their best. There you go. Yeah, they're breaking almost an impact. I think that second general being killed off by the rogue cannonball really has just screwed the Russians over a little bit here. But it's a still a bloody fight here at Borodino. Like, the bodies are insane. I mean, like, Udino here is, like, surrounded by, I don't know, thousands of dead. Like, there are thousands dead here at Borodino. What a bloody day. A day to, that won't be forgotten anytime soon by the French army. Certainly the Chasseur here is just going to mop up stuff. This isn't, that is an old guard unit. That is going to mop stuff up. Also doesn't help when the uh, Russian R3 starts shooting its own troops, I feel like. Because I think that was who it was doing. It might have actually been... No, it might have been French R3, actually. You know, they are firing down the line trying to hit those boys over there. What happens to the remaining, like, sort of, like, Russian cab? They just sat back here doing nothing. I believe to be sort of proactive with it. I know the battle's kind of over. You might as well... See if you can get a general, get some artillery or something. Looks like they did try something over here because the guard is still very much protecting this uh, this artillery piece here. Yeah, this isn't obviously an old guard artillery piece. Do you want to kind of keep that protected? Yeah, it looks like squares and stuff over there. They are... I don't know. Yeah, they're just, they're just protecting it. Just making sure. Just making sure. I don't... Oh, come on, Russia. Don't retreat. Just accept your... De just accept you're defeated. They've just defeated. Look, some of them are running marching forward, some of them are like, nah, we're getting out of here. We're going, we're going, we're running for our lives. the sappers. Look at that, scaring these uh, Russians just to the sheer side of these angry men with their aprons on. I would equally be scared of a man wearing an apron if he's wielding a bayonet. And I'd be even more scared if he was coming into battle with a baguette, to be honest. There you go. Croatian's still alive, you'd love to see it. And 
the assault columns back as well. You'd love to see it. 150 of them left. That's the perfect unit to assault any sort of damn house that the Russians try to occupy themselves in. But we'll just fast forward now as we uh, as we wait for the French to sort of just deal the, the final killing blow. Kind of excited to see who gets the job of doing it. I feel like it should be the assault column. They did so much work for that redoubt. They really did. The Russians... See, look at this. Russians still have cabs just, just dotted about back here. This is a healthy-ish Dragoon as well. It might have rather once, I don't know. But still, it's just been kind of left back here. I feel like some assets just kind of got forgotten by, by the Russians. They had. Nays, like, had a rough day today here, that's for sure. He's got some of his line infantry back. Guns still here. I mean, like, that Dragoon just go after anything you wanted. What's it chosen? It chose an Imperial Guard unit, which could form square. Actually, hasn't formed square. It's an old Guard unit as well, of all, of all choice, of all picks. That is unfortunate. I think Napoleon was actually at this battle. Uh, like, historically, yes, I know who he was, but I mean, I think we had, someone actually did pick up Napoleon and bring him. Uh, Eugene's there. I, I don't know where Napoleon is, actually, but I think he is uh, present on today's battle. Little Dragoon unit here is trying to uh, charge these Trilliers. Both can form square. And they actually managed to stop it. French infantry here. Voltaire has been broken. Yeah, look at this. The old guard or the young guard is easily beatable if you want to. If you just try hard enough. Oh, gosh. Yeah, some of these Trilliers are getting pounded really hard. Trilliers and Voltaire is going in. Yeah, maybe they've... Yeah, maybe it's not over yet. Maybe this is the right move from the Russians to retreat back to this final sort of position here. Try and juke it out. Oh, the assault column broke! You goddamn cowards! The gun comes forward. It's got the six pounders here. It's got no support, though. Everything's dead and routed. And we're actually going to see, I think, a general try and take this uh, gun out. That's hilarious here. Look at that. The gun runs for its life. I think the horse artillery is probably one of the speediest things in this game. And actually, yeah, look at it. France is not... France has not uh, won this just yet. And they just keep slowly marching forward. What have they got left? Velite Carabineers? Oh, they might have the stuff to get in. Carabineers, the old guard? Yeah. Might be okay. They might still be able to get in. It's just whether the uh, Jaeger gets some good charges. Oh, we've got a Trillia here still alive for the... Uh, and it's going to go charging on in. There you go, another Trillia broken though. That is concerning. They are routing some of these units still. I think the Trillia is coming in here. I've done that bit. Voltigares, you know, still chipping away, doing their bit. Chipping away. Oh, we've still got the, uh, the Imperial Guard, she says, boys. It's not over yet. Maybe Russia hasn't. It's not out of it yet. I mean, they're going to need these line infantry units of nays over here. They're going to need everything they have left. Russia coming in, getting a little... Who are they taking out here? Oh, it's the uh, old guard artillery of all things as well. Yeah, Russia has not finished it yet. I was writing them off. They actually wiped out that guard unit as well. Jeez. There's still a uh, yeah, young guard unit here. Let's put a volume into his Russian cab that's routed them nicely. Eugene, yep, still alive. I haven't seen Napoleon actually in a little while. I am a little worried. Who knows over there? I don't know. Maybe they did get Napoleon. Or just maybe he just routed. But he was definitely present in this battle. Uh, at the beginning. I did see him. Yeah, it looks like they're just going to come to just bombard this building down and just... And 
just maybe I, don't, I mean i imagine that's fine they could probably just level this building because it's probably not an objective because uh, i know certainly like the uh the players that play this one they have like certain rules that you can't just bombard a building down to 100 percent if it's an objective because it technically means that the russians still hold it but it looks like this wasn't a really an objective obviously the redoubt was kind of the objective and i guess maybe like just total like victory also counts as objective why are they destroying that building of all things that wasn't an objective at all. Uh, Russia here managing to route more French infantry with a random uh, infantry unit they just found it. I mean, they are just like flankish chasseurs and things being routed. No surprise. I think they might get stopped by this Voltaire, though. There you go. Yeah, they're going to get stopped there. And it looks like Jaeger uh, is coming up, but it is literally down to nothing. France is like at literally nothing now. I honestly thought earlier, oh, this is, it's close, but it's not like, really close then like all of a sudden the imperial guard just broke that always has caused a little bit of an issue building here captured oh they captured this one all the way back here uh, Uda knows gone into it i guess they're going worried about points maybe well the borodino is worth it actually none of these are worth any points i don't know why they did that interesting um now we're under the sea i forget that this happens when you just click on the map um but yeah it looks like uh well, yeah, it looks like they just leveled this whole town. Poor Russians. Been kicked out of their building. Uh, and now we're just going to... I imagine Eugene should really just come forward. There is, I think, two Russian infantry units left. I think they could just about manage to take them out. Don't leave this this poor guardsman unit high and dry trying to deal with it on their own. Yeah, bring forward the artillery. Do something. Run the artillery over the infantry if you have to. But just, just finish this somehow. I look at this, they are literally going to set up their artillery and just pound away at this poor infantry. There you go, they managed it. The Flankish Chasseurs and the Imperial Guard have managed to get rid of those guys. And I think we've... Right at the end there, someone's general for France got killed. I don't know who that was, but right at the end there, a general just got sniped and killed. Uh, that might be Eugene, I think, actually. Um... Yeah, I don't know what happened there, but that was hilarious. Um, anyway, hopefully I'll put up the end results for you guys to have a look at. Uh... Thank you very much to Johnny for sending this one in. This is a super, super bloody Borodino battle. As always, I always love a Borodino clash. It's a great, great uh, like map, especially when you sort of do center everything sort of around an area. There's certainly, they've done it like even tighter than this before. Hopefully I'll leave a link for it. So you can have a look at. I did like a Borodino series, mini series. Like, so they did every flank. The center flank was bloody as hell. Um, but yeah, this is pretty on par with that they spread out a little bit more which is fine i honestly thought the french kind of lost it at points when they just couldn't take their doubt the cav was kind of beaten as well uh, like their elite cav uh, but then the russians lost generals and they just their units started to drop and that was just catastrophic as well but yeah anyway here here are the uh the kills i think um johnny was playing his nay so uh yeah he had a lot he had a really rough day today his artillery did the best getting 119 kills that's never a good sign um and then he's got an eight pounder here with uh 98 uh, kills as well so yeah he's like his best kills are sorry never a good sign uh there are the rest of his kills his infantry just yeah really suffered today uh being charged and also just uh also just being focused down by russian infantry but there you go guys that is today's battle if you did enjoy do remember to leave a like subscribe if you're new around here and i'll see you in the next one bye for now